everyone, it's Mara from Wiglot, and in this video I'll compare two popular website localization solutions for Webflow, Wiglot and Webflow localization. Even though I'm comparing our own tool to a competitor, my aim is to provide an objective overview that includes the shortcomings and benefits of both tools so you can make an informed decision. Let's start by quickly introducing both tools. Wiglot is one of the leading website translation solutions, allowing more than 110,000 websites to be multilingual since 2016, regardless of their CMS. Whereas Webflow localization is a recent native feature that allows users to translate their Webflow websites into multiple locales directly inside Webflow. Although in essence, both these tools provide a website translation solution for Webflow users, differences in their features and pricing structure make them more suitable for different types of users as we will cover in this video. So let's start by breaking down the key features. Both Wiglot and Webflow localization offer users the option to translate their website content automatically or manually. Wiglot uses the leading machine translation engines like DeepL, Google Translate, or Microsoft for the automatic translations depending on the language pair. The machine translation providers aren't officially mentioned for the Webflow localization solution. The most important difference here is that with Wiglot, your entire website, including your metadata, is automatically translated with one click, so you're ready to go live instantly. And if you prefer, you can make Wiglot private until you review your translations first. Whereas with Webflow, the process requires you to manually trigger automatic translations for each page, including every metadata field, CMS item, and image alt text. Depending on the size of your website, manually triggering automatic translations can be time intensive, so you'll need to factor that in when you're considering the timeline and launch of your multilingual website project. And when it comes to the content generated on your website by external tools like pop-ups or forms, Wiglot detects and translates them just like the rest of your content. This is currently not possible to do with Webflow localization. It's also important to note that with Webflow localization the exclusion feature, which allows you to leave certain sections or pages from getting translated, is only available for the enterprise plan. So you should either translate your entire website or upgrade to the enterprise plan to exclude pages you don't want to translate. Finally, let's address how newly added or updated content on your website is treated with each solution. With Wiglot, any new content is detected and translated automatically, so your website's multilingual content and SEO is not disrupted. With Webflow localization, you'll need to manually keep track of all the content changes on your website and translate them as soon as they're added to your website. This might be time consuming as there is no way of filtering content based on different criteria and viewing them all at once, for example in a list view. So you'll need to locate and edit these translations manually. With Wiglot, you have multiple options to view and edit your content, including a translation list and a visual editor, as well as various filters and a search bar to make editing more efficient. Another useful Wiglot feature that saves you a lot of time when editing translations is the glossary. With Wiglot, you can set translation rules to have your translations always translated the same way or never have certain words translated. This significantly reduces your manual editing time and ensures your translated content is consistent. Note that this feature is currently not available in Webflow localization, so you'll need to correct the same automatic translations across your site's content. With both solutions, users can also manually translate their content themselves. The key difference here is that with Vlot, you get various views and features to make editing easier and quicker. You can choose to work on a live preview of your website and make edits directly on your pages with the visual editor. As you can see, this is very similar to Webflow localization. Or you can use the translation list to make edits on a more text-based view that has advanced filters and a search bar to find specific translations. This translation list view is not available with Webflow localization. And when it comes to features, an important one that Biglot offers is the option to order professional translations directly from your dashboard and have professional translators edit your content and have them live within 48 hours. Or you can export and import translations if you already have them, or you wish to translate your content outside of Wiglot. Neither of these options are currently available with Webflow localization. With Wiglot, you can also add from 5 to 50 teammates to your project with different access permission, 
assign them translations, and track their progress without any additional cost. With Webflow localization, in order to have someone edit your translations, you'll need to purchase extra seats on your paid Webflow workspace plan and give them designer access. Although for certain users it can be preferable to have everything included in one tool, it also comes with major drawbacks. For example, buying extra seats can quickly increase the cost of your localization project and potentially jeopardize your website safety, but more on that later. Also important to note here that only one person can make edits on translations at a time with Webflow localization. On the Wingo dashboard, multiple members can work on the same content simultaneously. When we mention Webflow, we have to mention website design. Webflow localization allows users to make design changes to their locales directly in their website editor, which is quite convenient. For example, let's say that due to text expansion, you want to reduce the space between your many titles, then you can do this very easily with Webflow localization. However, some important design modifications like displaying different fonts on locales require the enterprise plan. It is also possible to make these types of design changes with Blot, of course, but the process is more manual as you'll need to add custom code to your project. But don't worry if you don't know how to do it yourself because our support team is always on hand to help you optimize your multilingual design. Similarly, localizing images with Webflow localization is quite easy. You just need to upload the localized image and change it. With Weglot, the process is a little bit longer because you will need to add the links of your images, but it's still quite simple. Another advantage of Webflow localization is the ability to display certain CMS pages or collection items on specific locales only. So for example, if you want a specific article to be available in only one language, you can do that. This is also possible with Blot, but it requires a more manual workaround. Last but not least, let's talk about pricing. Blot's pricing is straightforward and transparent. The plans are mainly determined by word count and the amount of languages you wish to have. There are also differences in the features offered in plans, but most fundamental features are available in all plans. All users also benefit from a 10-day free trial, and a forever free plan is available for users with smaller websites. Webflow localization doesn't currently offer a free trial, and bear in mind the preview is only available for basic site plan and above. There is also no free plan available for Webflow localization and to have access to some of the more fundamental website translation features like media translations and exclusions, you'll need to upgrade to an advanced plan or a bow. Plus, the cost might exceed your budget pretty quickly as certain costly features like the ability to add team members are only offered as add-ons. To help you understand the significance of the difference here, for example, Viglot offers 5 extra seats in a free plan whereas one additional seat in Webflow starts from $19. Given the differences in plan structures, a direct comparison between Weglot and Webflow localization pricing might be misleading, but here is a comparison between the most popular plans of each solution. Here we compare the Weglot Pro plan versus Webflow localization advanced plan to help you understand how affordable each solution is. Thanks for watching our comparison video. I hope you found it useful and understood the strengths and weaknesses of each tool so you're ready to make a more confident decision. And we would love to hear your thoughts. Have you used either of these tools? Share your experiences in the comments below and don't forget to check out our videos for more tips and resources. See you in our next video. Bye!